I'm going to cut open my squash and see what it looks like inside. Um, I, I put this in the oven yesterday for an hour and a half. You should probably do it the same day. <laughs> but, um, you know, I was busy. I didn't get around to opening it up. So let's see what it looks like inside. Oh, well, that's not too bad. By putting the squash in the oven for an hour, it pulls, it makes it soft inside. And you can see it starts pulling away. It starts pulling away from the from the flesh, the skin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop out this inside and take all the seeds out. Wow, look how easy this comes off. Isn't that nice? I highly suggest baking it before <laughs> having to cut it. See, it's already it's already cooked. The reason I'm going to put it in the oven now is so that I can get some flavoring into it with the olive oil because I like that. <laughs> and um, because this squash is so light in color, the recipe that I'm using um, includes carrots. So I'll be grating up a carrot and sticking that inside the soup. So there you go. I got all my pieces of squash on the on the cooking sheet. Okay. So now this is done. I've put on some olive oil and um, I'm going to put a little bit of garlic salt on it. A little bit of pepper, white pepper. I don't like to use I don't like to use the uh, black pepper because it's a soup and I don't like looking like I have spots in my soup. Okay, so now the squash is ready to go into the oven. Here's the squash that I've taken out of the oven and I've put it in a pot. And um, I'm going to roast one more squash. That one. <laughs> and there's my bananas I'm going to make banana bread with. But here's the squash that I'm going to roast. And then I'm going to stick in here with these because this isn't enough for my soup. So. Look at that steam. Yummy. And it's very sweet. Um, here's a glob of the squash, but it's very sweet. Mm. Okay, I have two leeks. Um, I, the squash, after I roasted it, I'll show you. The squash, here it is, all roasted in pieces. And... Before I start working with that, I tasted it, and it's really, 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 really sweet. <laughs> um, we've been working with butternut squashes the last couple weeks, and those are not as sweet. It's more like a nutty taste, but these are really, really sweet. So what I plan on doing is adding leeks, a red onion, garlic, and ginger to this and seeing what it tastes like. <laughs> it's an experiment. Do you want to cut? Okay, so I'm going to let my daughter cut the... I'm going to let my daughter cut these, so we'll be back after she's done. <laughs> okay, my daughter finished chopping up the leek. It was two leeks, and I just chopped up a red onion. And <clears throat> I will saute this on a pan with some butter <laughs> and um, until it is you know until it, the it's soft but not colored I don't want it to be burned doesn't that look yummy mm. here we go I have some garlic so, the squash Garlic and with the squash. Here's my carrots. <laughs> Carrot! <laughs> um, and I'm just going to stick those in there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick some broth in there. One of the other things, because we're going to run out of room in this pot, so I'm going to try to smush the. Um, I'm going to smush down. Squash. So 
And it's actually going to be covered by the... So that my, okay, so there's my... Here's my vegetable broth. Vegetable broth. And then I'll add a little bit more water to make sure that it's covering. So everything's covered. Um, I'll leave it in here. It'll cook while we're away. And then when I come home, we'll continue doing some video. <laughs> See you in a bit. So there's the finished soup and it actually tastes pretty good. The concoction. Yummy.